I left over 20 years ago. I went away. Sure, things would never change. I don't think she even noticed. I had lost all hope that she might change her ways. I had indeed lost all hope that my city could ever free itself of the Mafia, corrupt politics, and in particular, the stranglehold of the garbage business. Most of all, I needed to get away from the disillusionment and the apathy. The day at a time approached to life of the people who had given up hope and now just took comfort from having the world's most beautiful bay and the world's best seafood. Meanwhile, the city's garbage is packed in bales and stored in huge pyramids. The Mafia dumps industrial waste along roads at the edge of the city. Inside the Vesuvius National Park, and in contravention of European regulations, Europe's largest landfill opens. Against this disastrous backdrop, an American professor lands in Naples, the guru of the zero waste movement. He is crazy enough to suggest that garbage could be eliminated completely by 2020, even in Naples. But then something unexpected happens. At local elections, a candidate with no hope of winning sparks the people's imagination with promises of breaking with the Mafia and solving the garbage problem. Naples, the first major city to declare zero waste. This is fantastic. This is a dream come true. The people of Naples are used to miracles, and this is a real boost to their enthusiasm. And me? I decided to return to my city. Along with the people of the city, I both loved and hated. I was hoping for the miracle to happen.